Okay, hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to uh, hook up a, a car stereo with a computer supply unit and I'll also hook up a speaker. So you're gonna, the thing with this, I cut all the extra colors besides, the only colors you need to keep is the one green one, all the black ones, well, you don't have to keep all the black ones, all, all you really need is two blacks and two yellows for this, and in this case I'm gonna use these, the two longest ones, just because it's easier. So, and then, so now you're going to want to take the yellow and the red from this one, from the stereo. And hook them up to the yellow one on the CPU. Like this, like so. And you can either use electrical tape or these things. I use these just because it's easier and it looks nicer. Okay, there's that. Do you want to take the black one from the CPU and then the black one from... Okay, then you're going to want to put these two together. And then you're gonna wanna twist it on. There's that. Okay, now all you really need to do is hook up the speaker. For the on the speaker, normally the two white ones are front, the two gray ones are front, two greens are back, and then the pur two purples are back. And then this blue cord is for your remote. For like if you have if you have like a remote control for your stereo. But I don't, so saves me time. Now I'm just gonna hook up and use the white ones with my big car stereo speaker. Sorry. Um let off, off. I'm just gonna just put it right in there. I'm gonna do the same to the other one. Okay, well now we should be pretty much done. I'm gonna see if my CD is gonna work in the stereo. If it doesn't, oh well, I'll just put in my home antenna. But, okay, I'm gonna plug in the CPU now. Cord, CPU. See, it turns on, it's not too loud, kinda loud for that, but there's this power. I'm gonna take my disc. Okay, there's already a disc in here, I think. Or it just doesn't want to work. I can tell it works because the speaker's making a static noise. And the CD's just not working, so I guess I'll just hook up the antenna, which I'm just using a regular cord in the back of the stereo there is 
this hole right here or it might be somewhere else for you that's where it's at for me and I just take the cord spiral it up and stick it in there and there you go let's go to a better station okay here And then the cord will fall out, which sucks. I'm probably just gonna tape it in there sooner or later. And I did have this all hooked up in a in like a big box, like not a big box, but a little box. Then I took it apart just so I can make this video. Hmm, let's go to a different, better station. No problem. There we go. The volume on this one does not work very well. What about a Q? Well, I mean, we'll go to 175. See, it works. You can see it all works. Honestly, really easy. And I did this yesterday. I just sat there all day long trying to figure it out. Figured it out. So, and it's really nice. It'd be nicer if I could actually get the disc out or just get it to work. I don't think there's a disc in there, but... Whatever. Well, I hope this guy's this video helped you guys. And then next, I'm going to put this in a bigger box. Have two of my big speakers. I got my other one right under my bed. And yeah, I just want to have a nice stereo. Stereo, I can just haul around. And oh, uh, here, real quick. I'll show you. You can actually hook up a second one. Up this speaker right here just to show you because um, I did this earlier about an hour ago I hooked up with a second one just to see if it worked just to see what the, they look like oh crap I just touched two wires together so if that happens just unplug it yeah I'm going to have a problem now well, I guess that's it, guys. Um, I accidentally touched two wires together, and it just pretty much gave this thing a heart attack. So I guess that's it. Well, just don't touch. I forgot to tell you. Make sure your cords don't touch. Mine did. Now I have to go find a new suit, CPU. Don't know where I'm going to find one, but I think I can get one from an old computer because I have a second, another old computer that I tour apart well guys hope this helped you and good luck on yours and please like comment subscribe thanks for watching okay guys I just want to verify I did get it working again see got it working again so all you really have to do is if it does that just unplug the green and black wire, the green and black wire that you have put together, and then un like unplug them, put them back together. Like make sure you unplug this. Make sure you unplug it first, and then do it. Just unplug it, plug it back in. Well, I just unplugged it while it was running, like while it was plugged in, and then I unplugged it, put it back together, turn, plug it back in. It worked perfect. So I'm just going to put this back on, and yeah, thanks, yeah, like I said, thanks for watching, and good luck on yours, and if you guys make one, I want to see it, 
So I wanna I'm gonna make a good one if I can like when I, I'll get the money, get the wood, make a really nice one and then I wanna see after you guys do it, I wanna I want you guys to share a video with me of yours and I think it'd be pretty sweet so I can get some ideas. See how you guys are doing. If you guys need help with something, I'll help you. I figured it out, it was not that hard, it was pretty easy. Don't think anyone will have problems with it, but anyway, thanks for watching guys, peace.